Okay, good. Hey, can you hear me fine? Oh. Yes, I can hear you good. Good. Hi. Hey, Clement Thanks for having Corey. me. Oh, I'm good, pleasure. thank you. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How was your day so far? Uh, I was busy. I was at work until 8. Just got home, basically. So, But yeah, can't complain. Well, <laughs> so Clement, your fourth full-length album, Tellurian Rupture, is to be out on August 19. So can yeah. you tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind this new album? Right. So um, basically, we wanted to like take, I guess, take the recipe that we did on on the previous album, Close to Oblivion, and just try and take that up a level. You know, just make it sound because like that one had a lot of power metal influences i guess mm -hmm. and so we wanted to keep those uh intact like the melodies and stuff but like still like make it more aggressive make it more more thrashy heavier and that was the goal and um we weren't worried too much about the song sounding um too similar because on cloaks um andre was the main songwriter and he left uh back in may 2020 so this one was mostly written by um, Gregor Kamenschik, and then two songs were also written by the new guy, Gregor Lautar, who joined us um, when Andre left. So um, yeah, it was, it was a fun ride, like writing it and stuff, and we, we enjoyed it, and I think we wrote a good album, so. And any particular concept that goes behind this album? Yeah, so uh, lyrically, yeah, I... Um, I initially, like, I didn't really plan on, like, doing a concept, but then it just made sense. So when, when we, like, when things started shaping up um, and I got the feel of the song and stuff and I, w I was writing the lyrics, I noticed that, like, there was a concept, like, in, like, most of them, like, this was the same concept. So w once I knew, like, what the song order should be, I went back and rewrote a couple of songs just to fit in with the concept and, like, make it all, like, flow in a way that makes sense um so now it's like the first half of the album basically is like an introduction it's like a warning and then the second half is all the havoc the destruction that's happening because we suck as humans <laughs> absolutely. absolutely yeah and any plans on the day of the release for this album yeah so after after the album's out uh we're gonna try and play as many shows as we can of course um after the release, we have like one show, like just the day after uh, in Kran, which is a small town um, in, here in Slovenia, close by. Um, uh, and then we, the, the official like release show is like a month after in, in mm -hmm. Ljubljana, where, where we're originally from. Uh, and after that, we're going to Italy with our friends in Titus, a pretty cool Italian hair metal band. Um, and then we plan to go to Serbia in uh, October as well, um, to Austria again. Then hopefully I'm trying to get like some dates in Germany and like e everywhere else I can in, in Europe. Um, but we'll see, like it's still all still like a work in progress, so. Sounds good, sounds good. And uh, talking about Children Rupture, an amazing album, 10 beautiful songs. Thank you, thank you. More powerful. And with a classical trashy sound to this album, makes it even more better to listen to this album too. So as a band, how do you feel about the outcome of this one? Yeah, like for me, I love it. Like it's, I, I mean, every band is going to tell that the last one is the best one, right? But mm -hmm. um, for me, like, it's, yeah, it's like one thing, it doesn't really bother me, but like looking back at Cloaks, I, I wish... I'd have approached it like a bit more aggressively with the vocals sometimes. And here I do it like here. It's, it's more versatile, I think in, in like in every sense of the word. Um, and yeah, it's just, the, I like music that's like heavy and like um, brooding, I guess, just, you know, a bit, a bit on the melancholic side, not just angry. And this one I think is well balanced. It has the rage and it also has like some, some of the sadness. And for me, that's, yeah, I think I, I love this album. And also like, usually if you look back at our, you know, previous albums, it all, there's always nine songs and that's always been 
I always wanted it. Like I was the one who said we need to have nine songs. I didn't even want to have eight. I didn't want to have ten. I wanted to have nine songs. And then on this one, I wanted to have nine songs as well, but uh, it just didn't work out. Like the concept required it to be ten songs. So I said, "Fuck it, we let's have ten songs on this one." <laughs> but I think on the next one it's gonna be back to nine. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And and on the selling perspective, what are the plans for this album? Do you have plans for some kind of merchandise, vinyl, CDs? So what's the plan for? Yeah. This? Um. Like always, we're gonna like have um, you know, the album is coming out on CD and vinyl uh through from the vaults, uh, and it's gonna be available directly directly through the label through some distros and also from us directly. You, you're gonna uh, it's already like the, the pre-order is uh, on Bandcamp already. And we'll, we already have one T-shirt design out for the first single that we did, Egan's Wrath. And in the coming weeks, uh, we're going to add more more merchandise. There's going to be at least two more T-shirt designs, maybe mm -hmm. more. Um, yeah, we, we want to like do like as because like the, the artist who who she who drew the cover, she she also did like some some separate designs for us. Uh, so if if you know if the finances allow us, then we're gonna try and release like all the cool shit. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be available through Bandcamp and at our live shows, of course. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, any plans to come up with an official video before the release of the album? Yes, um, I have no idea when uh, your show is gonna air, but uh, the video is coming out tomorrow. So um, yeah. So uh, tomorrow, the, the song Worms is the single that's going to be a video. Uh, it's premiering tomorrow at around noon, I think. Sounds amazing. And Eruption has been on the world for, from 2004 to, to, till now. You know, great, amazing yeah. music, great songs, great albums so far. So how Thanks. has the musical journey been so far to you? The journey? Like, you know, I, I started this band uh, in high school when I was 18 years old, just turned 18, I think, when, when it started. Uh, I'm 35 now, so it's been, it's been a while. Uh, it, it doesn't feel like a long time, you know, it, it feels like I started been yesterday and I like, it's just, it's been fun. And, you know, the lineups change through, through like each album has a bit of a different lineup, but it's always been, you know, we're always a band. It's never been like a one man project or whatever. It's always been like the guys who are in the band are, are, are the band at the time. And it's always been like that. Uh, and it's always fun. And, you know, and, and even the guys who are not in the band anymore, you know, we, we, none of them left because like, because of any arguments. So we just, you know, they didn't like feel the music anymore or whatever. So, but we still see them, they come to our shows and, you know, we're, we're still supporting each other and stuff when some of them are in different bands and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's it's been a fun ride so far, and and I can't imagine it getting any less fun in the future. And just you know, uh, my drummer, you know, he he said just the other day, uh, Judas Priest pr played uh, in in Ljubljana uh, last Monday, I think. And after the show, our drummer was like, you know what? When I'm 70, I want to be like those guys as well. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like that's that's yeah, we're not going to be as big and and you know as as famous, but definitely still doing it. I think when we're, you know, super old, we're getting there now. So. <laughs> yeah. And uh, any big moments that you want to share with me today? Big moments. Like what do you have in mind? Special moments like that was always on your mind. As far as like past events and stuff? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, like we got the chance to play with some amazing, you know, bands that were, you know, our our idols and stuff, and that we grew up listening to. And so, like, the biggest thing for me is those guys are always super down to earth, nice people. And we we got a chance to play with Nuclear Assault, uh, DRI, um, you know, Iced Earth, and Death Angel. Um, you know, and they were always like the nicest guys. And that like that's what like makes me feel, you know, warm inside. Like what. what when I was a kid, you know, growing up, a metal kid, and um, what initially drew me to thrash metal was, you know, when you open like a CD uh, or a vinyl and then you see the band photo and the thrash metal guys, they were always, you know, they, they looked like me, you know, they were the, you know, normal everyday guys. And that's, 
you know, because w- when you see like I don't know a power metal, they're all like wearing like pirate shirts and stuff, and you know, and you yeah. see you, that there's like there's a pose to it, and 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 you know, thrash metal's always been like kind of street or whatever, you know, and yeah, and they, I could identify with that. So and it, it's so one of like the biggest things for me, you know, is like, you know, people say you should never meet your idols, but like I've met quite a few of them, and they're all like the way I expect them to be, you know, just nice genuine kind hearted people and that's yeah. so that's that's like a, a big like moment for me whenever i meet somebody um another one like maybe a few years ago was um i became uh facebook friends with larry from hellstar the guitarist yeah. from hellstar and i i have no idea what like i was nagging him about, about something I, I was asking him something on on messenger um i don't know what it was but um like at the end of our conversation, I, I sent him a link to uh, Cloaks of Oblivion. Uh, and I was like, hey, you know, if you have the time, you know, please, you know, could you check out my band? And he sent, ha- sent me back his like Spotify playlist and he said, it's already there. Like I've been listening to you guys for, for a while and I'm a huge fan. I was like, that's, you know, <laughs> shit like that means a lot. When, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so stuff like that. I don't know. That for me, like, you know, that was a huge thing. Like for me, Hellstar, you know, or like, one of my favorite bands and and so for for somebody you know to notice you who, who's been in that band for since the beginning it's like that for me that was like a big big moment amazing amazing thanks for sharing Kevin. and so uh, going with children rupture so what is the plan for you guys with children rupture do you plan to go to countries that you have never been for this time yeah if, if we can of course like we you know, first and foremost, we're, I mean, we're, we're going to work on like returning to places we've been before just because we have some contacts there, but we always yeah. try and like get new contacts, get to new places. So there's definitely some countries that we, I think, you know, are doable, you know, because um, like, you know, Europe is still like, it's not hard to get in a van and drive somewhere. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we definitely like want to visit places that we haven't been like we've been trying to get to poland for a while now and we've been to like slovakia and czech republic we never made it to poland yet so hopefully this one takes us to poland for example we definitely want to go to like france belgium netherlands uh chances are we might come to the uk soon because i i have like uh, a contact there who i've been you know uh, just negotiating a possible gig in march i think so but we'll see like we'll see but yeah we definitely want to go to a place we haven't been yet where are you from i i actually i don't know where uh, you're from I'm, I'm from india you're from india yeah. um i would love to get to india i don't think it's very possible for us to get there soon but um yeah it would be crazy to get there like um it would be amazing to have you guys here um, yeah, I'm sure you guys are like, uh, an, like uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are a good crowd, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, massive, massive. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it, it would be great, like to to get to India and like, like anywhere. Like if if we can make it happen, you know, if it's finan- financially possible for us, then yeah. <laughs> sounds great. Sounds great, Clement. And uh, finally, what would be the message that you want to give to the fans around the world? Message to the fans. Um, thank you for your support. You know, through the years, like there's been more and more of you every year. Like people discovering our music, and we're grateful. You know, to everyone who, you know, support us. And you, you don't have to like, you don't have to buy our stuff as long as you find their music and enjoy it and share it with another friend. You've done a lot. You've done like everything, and. You know, as we are fans as well of of this music, of course. Um, yeah, we just we just appreciate each and every one of you supporting us. And so, when the album's out, if you can buy it, buy it. If you can't buy it, just download it and enjoy it. <laughs> you know, that's and hopefully we see you like you know at a live venue, like every one of you. So amazing, amazing, and Clement, I want to thank you so much for giving me today this opportunity to have this great interview with you. A real pleasure to have you. And thank you so much for Tailored and Rupture, an amazing album that is going out on August 19th. A real pleasure 
to listen to this album, great song, each and every song is done amazingly. I believe a lot of people will fall in love with this new one. And thanks so much to you guys for this wonderful work and wish you and all the entire band all the best in the coming days. Thank you so much for this interview. I enjoyed it very much. And thank you for the kind words. I'm super happy you enjoyed the album. Uh, so hopefully when the next one comes out, we talk again, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And Thank if, we, you. If, we, if we make it to India, I hope I see you at, at a show. Absolutely. Thank you. Right. And take care of yourself. Have a great evening. Bye bye. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye.